So the second heat of the splash of the Titans 2017 here at the World Swimming Championships in Budapest, Great Britain, BBC in lane three, right next to it. You see the Americans in four. This is going to be interesting. I'm joined by the fantastic Helen Skelton. Helen, what are you looking for from the British team here today? Them to swim fast, I'll be honest. I am slightly nervous about Steve Parry and if he's taking this seriously enough. The other guys were down by the pool warming up and he was still wandering around the commentary box looking for his trunks. So I am nervous about his input into this race. <laughs> well, I can tell you Team uh, BBC is uh, led off by Nick Hope, uh, the British and, uh, well, I think he's been in the World Masters Championships. Let's hope he has, because I'm going to say he has. Uh, European Masters he was in as well. Then we've got... Um, Karen Pickering, what do you know uh, about Karen Pickering, Helen? Four times world champion. She is a phenomenal athlete. She takes this very seriously, kept herself in good shape. You will see she's coming out great muscle toed. Becky Ellington, of course, going off third for us, two time Olympic champion, then, of course, four Olympic medals in total. So she is one of those women who says she's not taking this too seriously. It's a bit of fun, but actually, I don't believe that with Becky. Yes. Steve Parry, has he been training as intensely as no, the rest of the guys? No, he, no, he hasn't, Helen. He hasn't. I'm a little bit worried. They, they I haven't seen many lifeguards here either, which is, uh, which is a little worrying. And here we go, Nick Hope leading off the BBC team, then Karen Pickering, Becky Adlington, and look at that fine figure of a gentleman, those budgie smugglers at the back. That's Stephen Parry. They've got a good lane assignment. They'll be uh, right next to the Americans, uh, Helen, in lane three. Look at Becky there, just flirting, having a bit of a chat, distraction techniques, but Nick Hope is taking this very seriously. He loves his swimming, he trains very hard. We should, however, confess though, that Nick has had quite a serious injury in recent years. He's got, uh, he broke his femur when he was skiing. He had pretty much had to learn to walk again, spent a lot of time in a foreign hospital by himself. What's he doing there? Oh, a bit of yoga, downward dog. <laughs> <laughs> didn't see Adam Peaty do that, but you never know. Come on, Nick Hope. So. I love Nick Hope. Come on, Nick, look at those goggles. He does look a little bit, a tiny bit like Laszlo Che, doesn't he? The uh, great a Hungarian. Teeny tiny bit. <laughs> well, it's just these goggles. <laughs> the rest of it, the rest of it, not quite there. So, heat two, splash of the Titans 2017 here at the World Championships. Great Britain's BBC TV team in three Nick Hope, Karen Pickering, Becky Adlington, and Steve Perry. And look at that. Fantastic technique from Nick Hope. God, Nick! Using most of the 15 metres underwater, and he's off, and he's off very well indeed, Hope, there in that main three. He's actually really good. He takes it seriously. He trains in London. He enters any competition he can. He commentates, he reports poolside, and any opportunity to get in there, he does. Well, he's going well. He's about in fifth or sixth position at the moment. The butterfly saw up there, and I think he's in one. He's about maybe fifth or sixth. Now we've got a very, very good swimmer going in, and Karen Pickering, four times world champion. And she, oh, look at the technique of Karen Pickering. Beautiful, breathing every four strokes. This is lovely stuff from her. A mum of two gorgeous twins. I know she doesn't have as much time to train as she would like, but look at her go. She's phenomenal. Karen Pickering, what a fighter, what an athlete. Very, very competitive. Yeah, she is, and she's, uh, she's well, just, I've got my calendar. Yeah, no, she's done a good time there for that, uh, for that second 50. Now, Becky Adlington, this double Olympic champion, double bronze medalist from London. And, you know, she's quite, this is good stuff. It's very impressive stuff. I didn't expect this. We were out carbo loading last night. We did a super job on the pizza. Pizza, maybe this is it. Is that what we call it when we chow down on buckets of <laughs> pasta and pizza? <laughs> Becky Allington was the first to put her hand up for this race. When it was mentioned, she was like, I am in. Right, next up, though, Steve Parry. Is he going to be the weak link? Well, I think maybe Parry went a little bit early there. Good underwater, used that butterfly technique that he actually beat Michael Phelps in the semi-final of the uh, of the Athens Olympic. He's having a go here. Come Look at on, this. Parry. He's catching him up, and this could well be victory for BBC. Come on, Stephen Parry. Steve Parry in three, and he's catching the Americans in four. It's goal. Oh, well, he's not. Oh, he's absolutely exhausted. Come on, oh, Steve. not a bad effort at all. Americans win. That was a very good swim from NBC. I don't know why they put the FINA guys up there, but uh, they were nowhere near. Japan win. NBC second, and BBC a very creditable third. I feel like a proud mum of a dysfunctional family. Fantastic effort. Look at Steve Parry in his own scouse words. He says it about everyone else. He's absolutely glowing. <laughs> well, we have to get the official results. Oh, we're and second. It looks like, you know what? 
I think someone else has been disqualified, you know. I think the Japanese have been... Uh, I think, well, that's very interesting. The Japanese have been put down into third place. NBC win, 1 minute 50.6. That's good swimming, you know. Look at that. BBC get the silver. Congratulations. A silver medal, Nick. Um, I mean, all this hard work. You've had to get a serious injury this winter that you've had to work very hard to get yourself back into shape. Yeah, a uh, little bit of a broken hip, but I'm back stronger. I was a bit worried about that, though, because we messed up the entry onto poolside where we were going to do something in sync, and we didn't even get that right. So, uh, yeah, pretty shocked, to be honest, that we swam that. It's awesome. Uh, carb loading last night, you lot, seems to have worked really well. Yeah, absolutely. It's all about the beers and the pizza. It really is good prep. But I, I'm a little bit disappointed because if I'd done my best time, I think we could have got gold. So that is playing up my mind a little bit. I have to say, I'm really sorry, guys. I let you know. Oh, you did I mean, process as well, though. You did a process as well. Forget isotonic drinks. Gin and tonic went really well. Gin and tonic is key. I think it's the best thing in our drinks bottles. Rehydrate. Might need another one now. <laughs> uh, uh, Helen was alluding to the fact that we were a little bit worried you might have done a, a, a false start there because once you started to lean, it was quite difficult to get the weight back onto the blocks again. Sharon, what you've you got to understand is that uh, I was I'm probably the only one taking this professionally. These three didn't turn up for the training camp prior to this event, yeah. and I'm really upset right now. I know we're one team, but these three were terrible, and uh, I just think they should have taken it more seriously. Well, They've got to be world-class. They're not about being world-class. It's all about marginal gains, and they're a disgrace. Okay. Oh, well, I, I, I feel for you, but I'm very proud of you, team. Well done. <laughs>